The man who led police on a chase after escaping custody by jumping out of a moving car appeared in court this morning. Norman Wolf is accused of kidnapping strangers and forcing them to drive him around. Wave News anchor Myra Sari is in the studio now to tell us more about it. Myra? Yeah, Don, we're getting a closer look at Wolf's arrest citation and what police say happened after his escape. And those facts are what led the judge to impose a bond usually withheld for murderers. Norman Wolf was wheeled into his arraignment this morning inside Metro Corrections. Police say that Wolf kicked out the window of a Trimble County deputy jailer's car before jumping out and running away. In court, the judge read aloud Wolf's arrest citations. In one of them, police described Wolf kidnapping two people, forcing them to drive him to River Road. After dropping him off, the two victims called police. The police manhunt ended two days later when they found Wolf in downtown Louisville. Wolf is accused of leading them on another chase before he was arrested. Now in court, the Commonwealth is asking for a bond almost always associated with murder. Wolf's public defender says that's not how bonds work. There can be no conclusion but for he is a flight risk and a danger to the community and the bond should be one million full cash plus HIV if posted. A million dollars is, is simply a simply put punitive and that's not what bond is supposed to be used for. It's not supposed to be used to make a uh, political stance is supposed to be to get some some fight to come to court. Ultimately, the bond was raised from its initial $50,000 to $500,000. Wolf would be placed on house arrest if that's posted. Myra Ansari, Wave News.